Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's the end of February and it's time for me to share with you some of my favorite thrift store finds. I normally thrift for farmhouse decor, craft supplies, and seasonal things to decorate with. And for the last year or so, I quit shopping at the regular store and I only shop at my outlet store. They're called different things in different cities. Mine's called the Bargain Center. There's another one not too far from me called the Bargain Barn. You might could look and see if your city has one. They're usually next door to the regular Goodwill store. It's where they have everything in the bins. You have to dig through there. It's not for everybody. It's kind of off-putting when you first go in there because it just seems kind of nasty in there. But I tell you, if you're consistent, you can find some good stuff. There's been times where I have seen it in the bargain center and go over to the regular store and it's triple the price in the store. So I don't know what their rationale is for what goes where. I had a few of you ask if I could record uh, a trip in there and you know there's sometimes there's five people in there sometimes there's 20. I don't want to take the chance of being asked to leave. I will try to insert a few pictures here if you've never seen one of these type of outlet stores. These bins they there's usually about five or six rows of them and they trade them out every 15 minutes and it's books and shoes and home decor, you name it. There's just a hodgepodge of everything in the bins. Let me show you some of the good stuff I found. I don't normally go on a Saturday because it's usually crowded, but I totally scored this a couple Saturdays ago. About five years ago, Hearth and Hand came to Target. This was one of their original things, one of the metal house lanterns. It came in three different sizes. This is the medium size. It was around $50. I have the smaller size that I just keep on my coffee table, but you can decorate with candles and seasonal things. There's lots you can do with this. Well, it was actually missing two pieces of the glass, but the glass actually just comes out super easy. And for less than $10, I can get two pieces of plate glass to replace the sides. And I, she charged me $2 for this. Can't wait to use that. All right, the next thing I found was one of these natural colored tobacco baskets. I mean, if this doesn't scream farmhouse, I don't know what does. I thought that it was one of the $5 Target ones, but I looked it up and this definitely is a size bigger than those. And so this is probably a $10 or $15 one from, from Hobby Lobby. The next thing was just a little a potted greenery from Ikea. These are typically $4.99. I'm lucky enough to live near an Ikea, so I probably paid 50 cents for this. If you've got a vinyl cutter, you would have known what this was. This is a brand new roll of transfer tape. This is probably a $20 roll of transfer tape that you use to transfer vinyl letters and words to different things. So total score for that, she may have charged me a dollar. This is something you'll probably see in the next week or so. I don't normally show things that I'm going to make over, but since I didn't have a whole lot this month, throw it in. But a metal little watering can that, uh, that goes on the wall, I'll paint that and put something cute in there, some greenery in there. I picked this up yesterday. This is just a little wooden heart bowl that'll be cute for Valentine's Day or stick on a tiered tray, something like that. But a lot of this wood type stuff is very farmhouse. Found a couple spools of ribbon. I'll definitely be using that here in the next few weeks on a craft project. And a and a substantial roll of this red foil that I can use for patriotic crafts and things like that. This stuff is pretty pricey and there's quite a bit left on the roll. And these type of things, they usually charge me about 50 cents a piece for. Now, one of the bins had a big collection of vintage looking cigar boxes. Some man grabbed most of them up, but I was one of the first ones to grab one. Just thought it was really neat to just sit around as is. You could open it up, put some greenery or some floral in there, or just use it as a riser to put something on. But just thought it was a really neat look to it and definitely a vintage farmhouse look. I grabbed up this little school bell. I love the patina on it. I don't think I'm going to clean it up at all, but I'll just sit that on something. And I thought this was awfully pretty to put outside on the patio table or something. It's a frosted mason jar with a birds. I think it's on the back side too. I'm almost positive this is from Walmart. I've seen this before over in the craft section where they sell little vases and things like that. And I want to say this is about seven or eight dollars. So cute for like 50 cents to put a little candle in. This one did have the tag on it, but it came off. I think she charged me probably 50 cents for both of them. Adorable little rabbits. And this one's holding an Easter egg. It's definitely not Dollar Tree quality. It's more of Hobby Lobby. Can't wait to use that on a tiered tray. Picked up this little felt wool looking stitched 
star ornament. I can put it on a tiered tray or put it on my Christmas tree. I think most of us know what these are, but these are called candle cappers. I've got a, a jar candle here. I was gonna show you what it is if you've never seen these. They look like that underneath, and it just dresses up your jarred candle. This one's never been used because it still has the little gold string on it, but they come in all kinds of themes. You can definitely find them like at the Yankee store. Any of those candle stores, you can usually find them, but it's just really cute to jazz up a plain jarred candle. I use a lot of dollar store flowers. I really love to thrift better quality flowers. These three stems would have probably been $10 at Hobby Lobby. Someone's already tied them up and I can just stick that in like a little jar of something and just really pretty cream colored hydrangeas. And last but not least is a big bunch of just some florals. Uh, you know, they've never been used because they have the tag still on them. So I can't wait to stick those into some kind of vase or jar for the spring. So there you go, friends. Those are my farmhouse goodies this month. I encourage you to check out your Goodwill outlets and see what you can dig for. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back in a few days. Bye-bye.